What is that move? Oh, she's swinging quite wildly, opting to go for this open-legged stance. What the heck? She nails it first try. Now we see Ayala. Karem, she's from Israel, and Israel athletes have been making a big scene. The male, uh, one man from Israel won the Blockmasters recently, and he beat Jakob Schubert to do it. So, uh, Israeli athletes are really up and coming. They are very, very good at what they do, and they are very suited to this modern style. But they come in with like a traditional style of climbing. So, very interesting the way they climb. Uh, the styles are definitely modern oh she just take the first move so easily wow that is sick okay almost too easy for her now she's setting up oh this left hand looks really bad this zone looks so slopey oh she makes some tension with the right and the left toe that's key that detail is amazing now how does she uncoil from here it goes into the left first hand hole wraps her left hand on the sloper oh my god that sloper looks so bad this angle Oh, oh my gosh, she's trying to find any punches. Oh my goodness, there's basically no give at all. At that steep angle, I believe it's at least like 25, 20 degrees, 25, at least 25 degrees. Oh my goodness. And you can't hit the lip of this volume because it's dual text on top. Wow, these roof setters are really making sure these athletes are super detailed. Look, her right foot is even smearing on the dual text. Oh my goodness, I think if the texture on the, on the right foot was there, maybe she might have a chance, but still, how would you match that? That was exciting. Even the top hole, the under lip is dual text, so you can't pinch it as per normal. Those are Taji macros, fiberglass macros from Cheetah, and usually when you hold them, you hold them like an edge, and then you kind of like uh, thumb press to support, because sometimes they are kind of almost like, they almost kind of like soapy. If you're not careful, you don't hit the, hit the fingers right, and if it's quite steep enough, so you need to have some thumb support. But the dual tax actually makes it harder for the thumb support. So, wow, this is amazing! Like I love this toe hook detail. This like, it's, it's a strengthy, classic climbing boulder, but with big holes, big pinches, slopers, on beautiful cheetah macros and X scout macros. So this is such a treat to watch. I. I'm so surprised that she's standing on that dual text. Oh, she's actually trying to skip it. So smooth going into the foot. She knows exactly where her feet wants to go right off the bat. So she doesn't really waste energy trying to tank the swing. This toe hook is beautiful. Flipping the left hand for the pinch. Matching the right pinch. Kind of an awkward angle. She's putting her right foot on the dual text. I think she's going to slap up to the sloper. How oh, does she uncoil from there? She doesn't get any leverage from there. You we'll see the wonder child from Japan, Anon Matsufuji. She's representing Japan here, where all the other Japanese athletes fail to qualify for the finals. Ai Mori, Miho Nanaka, Futaba Ito, Anon Matsufuji here. The sem coming in silver for the B uh, Boulder Elite Japan Cup. She is a force to be reckoned with. She will be able to participate and the uh, Olympic qualifier but now let's see how strong she is wow she is I think this is her style she might be able to get this she likes overhangs she likes strength moves she's good at these kind of things her technique is impeccable um now she reads this like a book oh she's bumping up a left foot oh okay that gives her a little bit more leverage can she match no, it's still so bad on the slope, but it looked pretty good. Oh man, I think that left bumping the left foot was could be the key. But oh, the slope is still so bad. I think you had to finesse the finesse the pinch before that first. Maybe palm press something. That left foot looked pretty good though. Of course, can attempt now. Anon Matsuvuji coming in with the start toe hook matching the hands. She's going straight for the grim. Oh, and that's blocked. Because, yeah, that she didn't go too accurate on it. She went a bit too left, blocking her, maybe her index finger. That's Miho no Naka and Futaba Ito there, cheering on their fellow uh, competitors. Natalia Gosman is there as well, because she did not make it to the finals. That's how intense the, the boulders were. And that's how much young talent is coming out, new talents coming out into the 2023 scene. So Yanomo Stafuji has to compose herself, takes a deep breath. Looks like she wants to have at least two attempts into this right hand. Yeah, because you might need to choose two attempts rather than saving your energy for one big attempt because that move is quite low percentage. It's kind of blind if you're from her angle. And maybe she wants to figure out a little bit more on this, so she's giving a better attempt. Left foot high on the zone, matching her right foot, stepping into the dual attacks. Goes on left hand first for the ramp. 
tried to backflag a little bit. Oh, but her position is kind of stuck. Oh, well, she choose to go again. Yes, she's choosing to go again. She's trying to brush. Okay, so she tries to left hand, tries to have the counter pressure from the left hand and left foot, but she doesn't have much to go with after that. She almost looks kind of stuck. If you see from this camera angle, it will look blind for the competitors. Almost blind. It's very hard to kind of precisely get that, especially when it's blocked. Representing the United States of America, Brrrk Rabatu is here and you know, she's have been absolutely crushing it. The semifinals look super good. And you know what? She's looking on point this year. And I say that and she drops. <laughs> Nobody could have a chance on this. Maybe Brooke Rapidu can pull out something out uh, from like a magician, a rabbit from the hat. Maybe she'll be able to um, find out what we can do. She's approaching a sloper a lot differently than others. Wow, this is super nice and controlled. Very, very strong. They didn't really need the extra tension with the left toe hook. Comes in with the left foot on the zone. Comes in cross with the lash. Come on, Brooke. Come on, Brooke. Ale. Oh, she manages to get it. She sticks it. Oh my Oh my gosh, she's hanging off the thing. Oh my goodness, bro. Oh my goodness. Oh, what, is that? what is this? What is that move? Oh my goodness. What the f Oh, that's like a white pony without the crack. Oh my goodness. What a move. That's insane. By the way, she comes up. Oh, she kind of wraps her arm, but she's kind of like pulling in as well to wrap and then she, to match. She needed to do this crazy thing. Double heel hook straddle. Oh my goodness. What a move. Looking to make some consistency here. I think she is extremely strong and wow, look at that. Precisely coming in with the undercling to control the swing. Unfazed with that. It looks super easy for her. She's adding some thumb action to the zone. Brook Rabbitu didn't really need it because she managed to drop her weight nicely. Yeah, this is the kind of lock off you want. You want to left leg bring down. Okay, she's oh she's opting to kind of back flag here. Kind of squeeze and kind of like oh kind of come on, come on, Lord. She needs to kind of start. She needs to unravel herself unless she can match her hands there. But she needs to get her left foot higher. Oh, she tries to attempt to cut loose and to get her left foot higher, but she kind of unravel herself once she kind of clamps down on that um, scout macro. And yeah, I think she knows it. She's probably too stuck in that position. She should be able to have some confidence here. She doesn't look super uh, convinced that she could do this, the top move, but. Um, you know, maybe she's hiding a cold face. She doesn't want to show too much emotion. She wants to focus up here. Okay, she is going for this little like kind of straddle bicycle onto the lower X scout macro, but she needs to uncoil herself. She's actually trying to flip her hand to get her body to the right. Yeah, so she's changing ideas. She is switching feet to get her left foot onto the zone. Oh, pressing up. This is what I was thinking, but maybe not. She don't really have much. Okay, but she uses it as a bump. Her right hand is kind of slipping. Oh, the dual text is so unfortunate. Giving. Because that dual text has hits the like, bottom part of a palm, doesn't get enough leverage onto it. Oh, did she, did she try something new though? That's really cool. So, yeah, to press, to bump, but I think you need it to kind of cross with your left hand because you want, to you want some opposition from your left hand and left leg. Very awkward, unnatural climbing position, but Brook Rabbitu managed to figure out. Will Lower give it another try? She has 30 seconds at least left on the clock. When she's going, she's 20 seconds into the move. Once she sticks this, oh, she does not see. Now we have Hannah Mule. She's a phenom from the German scene. She's very, very good. She is gold medal contender um, and she's in the final. And her usual rivals, Natella Grossman and Yanya Gamret, are not here today in the final. So, this is Hannah Mill. Come on, Ale Halem Mill. Hannah Mill. <laughs> Can she figure it out? You know, she's very known to be able to, you know, flash boulders that nobody thought would be possible. So, Hannah Mill from Germany coming in with the first attempt. Was she able to stick this first goes two hands onto it? How does she make space for her left hand there? I have no idea. She rocks over to the right foot hole comes in no problem from the zone slight toe hook just to flip her left hand comes in to match her right she uses ops to go for the left 
foot lower. Oh, comes in inside with her right foot. Can she get? Oh, she looks. She looks. She looks good from here. How is she gonna match the top though? She swings out, cuts loose, trying to find her feet back. Tries to bicycle the furious pinch, and <laughs> she flashes. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. So strong. So precise and technical. Everything was patient. Everything was precise. That was amazing from Hannah Mill. So she uses a lot of like bicycles and toe hooks. This was kind of strenuous, but she managed to get her weight nicely. Oh, she cut loose here, so strong, hanging on with the right hand, but she bicycles the bottom pinch to ensure the match was secure enough. So good, Hannah Mill. Yella, Karim. Okay, she's approaching it from uh, the bottom angle. She's, it. she's actually positioned quite well. She doesn't seem to be super confident on the swinging though. She looks like, yeah, she needs to be able to kind of catch the momentum right. But the way you position your arms in this kind of movement really tells how the direction your hips will swing. So you need to control it with your core and your hands. Yo, that's kind of tough because this cheetah black volume is kind of almost too... Like, it's not flat, you know, where you can land on softly. This one gives you opposition and pushes you outright from the get-go, making your right hand harder to stick. Mm, this is really, really tricky and tough. The box you gotta fit in, you know, you'd be kind of accurate to fit into this box. Um, so it's kind of like shoving your body. Yo, that was so close. That was a good attempt, though. Master Fuji now is on the stage. Master Fuji. She came in second in the Boulder Elite Japan Cup, uh, second only to Ayamori, so she's incredible. She's a new face um, in the international scene, but she's always been competing very well and making to lots of finals in the national Japan scene. Oh, she actually tries left leg first. Maybe she kind of swung a bit awkwardly there. Um, yeah, I think she really didn't really intend to go left leg first. It was just a bit of awkward swing. Um, and also Fuji, she... I don't think she really stuck the women's two. Women's two also had a similar boulder like this in the semi-finals. So this is women's two in the finals. It's a similar starting position. Oh, she's actually going sideways. Okay, she's like facing the wrong way. She's gonna dino. Oh, that is very cool. Okay, she's actually facing the wrong way, but she gets to come in and take it, take it to the side. So she doesn't have to. Oh, that's so sick. Yeah, in the last second, she turns around. Oh, that's very creative. I, so she needs to be able to kind of stick this move. I think she secures the zone. They did. They have not given it to her yet. Yo, this time they should give it to her. Well done, another one. Okay, now what we'll choices will she make? Will she step on the left? Jib, yeah, she was like, oh, okay, she's trying to maybe swap, use the right hand. No, I think the angle of the jump makes it a little bit like weird. The box seems to fit her a lot better compared to the other woman, but <sighs> man, it's like a double pedal. Oh my god, wait, one, two, it's a double pedal dino, not just a normal pedal dino. Oh my goodness, who set this boulder in crazy? Um, that's a new word I made up a couple of videos ago. I was meant to say incredibly, like incredible and crazy at the same time, instead I said in crazy. So, yes, yeah, so I guess it's a new word. But okay, so yeah, she was a bit pondering. She wasn't sure what box she wanted to use. I think she was thought of using the jib and with the right foot, but that's gonna be too barn dory. So now, yeah, so she goes out. Oh, yeah, that's a double paddle, maybe. Oh, my. maybe last couple of attempts here for Anonymous Fuji. Last two, it's already 20 seconds on the clock. Once she kneels this, beautiful. I think she's quite used to it. Uses the left hand to palm press and make it a little bit more secure. She's eyeing out the paddle. Oh, no, dude. Oh, that's so close. Actually, not very close, but that's the best we've got so far. Anonymous Fuji, well done, Gamba. Now Brook Rebel 2 is in the scene, we've seen some crazy crazy beta, crazy crazy positions from Brook Rebel 2 in this competition so far, she makes it look like she does it every single day. But Brook Rebel 2, this is her time, all her previous rivals from last year are not in this finals now. Yanya Gambrett is not in this final, uh, Natalia Grossman is not in this final, so Brook Rebel 2 is now time to shine, no more in the shadows of uh, Natalia Grossman, this is her moment, she's swinging quite wildly, opting to go for this open-legged stance. What the heck? She nails it first try! Holy shit! Can she do it? Does she do battle? Oh my god! Oh, she actually goes nice and slower. Oh my god, this is so exciting. Oh, this is very complex, almost like a figure eight 
Oh, wow, it's like almost like a figure eight dance in the air. It's so fluid. It's almost like I just see she rehearsed this climb several times. Oh my gosh, she's trying to stick the second hold and go slow. Okay, yeah, this is kind of like, almost like a figure eight um, kind of swing. It's so interesting. I've never seen that before. Okay, she's trying a different kind of. Oh no, she's going back to the foot plant beta. She comes in. Oh! <laughs> Oh my god, that's so close, that looks so cool, but she just rotated a little bit too much. Oh wow, her timing is there though, I think her timing is there. Bum 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 bum, oh she... she uh, I think, is that little bit more hesitation whether she wanted to match and hang on to the final hole or she wanted to continue paddle in that small hesitation, that's how she slipped. Oh my goodness, but I think she knows what to do, she needs to execute, she needs to wait and rest oh she's not okay she wants to use the full 50 seconds to be able to do this i think she does need it though maybe she wants to compose herself on the zone um and that's when she will be able to uh right her wrongs so brook rubber to for the glory coming up to the zone come on right foot right foot smash oh she that was so close will she go for one more time come on come on she chooses to go for one more time again she just barely has enough time but she needs to be execute everything perfectly to a T. she does only basically only one swing 16 15 seconds left on the clock come on brood over two come on come on ali ali they have to swing oh no dude now lower i up women's two those are her chinese coaches from china um, you know, like Matt said, you know, they didn't know how good she was, you know, the coaches didn't know how good she was until she was able to compete in these international scenes. So now we know she's good, you know, we know she's top quality material. She's very precise with these movements now. Now, how does she approach this? Goes with no hesitation. Oh, she tries to, she tries to skip the second hole. That could be a legit, legit strategy. Or will she try it again or will she continue for the paddle? So she goes to the first one. Double goes right hand for the first one. Ah, oh, I see. Okay. Oh yeah, she tries to go for the top straight away. Not a bad idea, but will she stick with it? One minute left on the clock. Maybe at least she might have you know, she can squeeze in two more attempts. China has been great at uh, developing climbers recently. Like I talked to a manufacturer in Korea and lots of holes are being ordered uh, from China uh, in Taiwan and Hong Kong, you know, so that a area of Asia is completely blue blooming and climbing. Oh, she almost gets to the top. Oh my god, it's a little bit more to the left and she would have gotten it. She's going again, 20 seconds left. This is her final attempt. If she can stick this first zone, she can't rush though. And this needs to give everything. 50 seconds left on the clock. She decides to right foot higher this time. Come on, come on. Oh, this is not enough power though. Oh, that was a great attempt from Luo. My hands are sweating. Are oh, you sweating? If your sweat hands are sweating, hit that like button for me. Now the crazy, the, now Hanamil. Hanamil flashed the first boulder. We didn't think it was possible to flash, but she flashed it. And this boulder looks impossible to flash. Let's see if she can flash this. Hannah Mio, one of the only climbers to top the first boulder. Uh, her and Brook Rubber 2. She kicks in to start her momentum. She's going for a more traditional style. Can she link it? Oh, she just decides. She kind of left foot goes first. Uh, that's a little bit awkward for her. So, yeah, no flash for Hannah Mio, but she is. Um, you know, being able to eye up this zone better. I think she understands the movement. She did flash the first boulder, so I think she's slightly ahead of Brook Rabbit too once she gets to the zone, but the attempts to zone do count, and attempts to tops, of course, they count a little bit better. She straddles the start hole. What will she do differently? Her swinging looks pretty good. Um, but her hands maybe a little bit too... Ooh, okay, she manages to do it quite nicely, slamming her right foot, smearing onto the wall. Now she talks about how she's going to approach this. Is she going to go for a more traditional paddle or is she trying to stick slowly with the second one, like Brook Rabbit 2, or is she going to go for like Law to jump straight to the top? She's smearing with the bottom of the right foot. Oh, she, she can't seem to decide where to place her feet. Her box is a little bit too scrunched up for taller climbers. We did see the... Oh yeah! So far, it's neck and neck with Hanamil and Brook Rabbit 2. Fujiyama is on women's tree. 
Yes, gets this first move nice and smooth. Will she be able to kind of figure out this middle section for the top? We have to wait and see. She has not got any tops yet. Oh, she's kind of awkwardly just uh, bumping her right hand there. <laughs> I think she used her body a little bit to hold herself with that hold. Okay, how does she choose to do this? So... Trying to mash her feet, trying to go across for the compression. Yeah, 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 yeah. She has some opposing force now. She's actually letting go of her weight. Wow. Okay, she's even chalking out in this position. Now, how will she transition to the top though? To That's the question. Okay, puts her right palm down. Palm down Is she now, thinking of bringing her right foot back to match with her left foot? That would be trouble though. That this might right kind of spin her up because of the, the rotation. Really this left crib isn't that great to Gaston. Okay, so but she is trying to Gaston. Yeah, okay. So she chooses not to pound, but she tries, tries to match her foot. Okay. Oh, I don't know what she's grabbing with her left toe, though. That's basically nothing. That's not a hole. That's like literally just a surface. How's she gonna figure? Oh my gosh, she's gonna press. Yes. Oh, I knew it was some kind of press move, but like, how would you try and get there? I have no idea how. Okay, Brook Rebel 2, she's been amazing lately. This is her flash attempt. She did have one top in the first women's boulder. This is boulder number three now. She sticks it very, very nicely. Look, she looks so on form and on fire today. Wow, wow. Her training must have been so good. And now she's bumping up with her right hand. Little bit, little bit risky, but she's making it work. How's she gonna crawl across? Is she gonna make the same mistake as Anomatsu Fuji? No, but she tries something new, but she tips off all of the skill. Oh, I think she tried to go with Archer, an Archer press again, but it wasn't so successful. She's very smooth on this though. Beautiful. Oh, look at her feet position. They're just nice. Outside of the volume, towards the end, uh, heels pointing in the V-shape towards the outside so that her body can lean into the wall, but um, she just needs to figure out the top section. So uh, she does want to pull ahead of Mia Crumple, but the advantage Mia Crumple has is that she goes after Boot Rebel 2. So, so not Mia Crumple, um, Hannah Mill is that she goes after Boot Rebel 2, so she'll know what Results Brook Rebel 2 has. Brook Rebel 2 has to just do her best every single time. She goes for this Gaston. This is what we saw Anna Masufuji get into. Um, oh, she says a soft feet. Yeah, she's aiming to bring her left foot up. Yes, come on, Brook Rebel 2. Okay, this is where Anna Masufuji fell. Oh, Brook Rebel 2 slightly wants to adjust a little bit of right foot. Oh, she's gonna. Oh, she turns it into a palm press. Come on, Brook. Oh, can she match the top? She needs to bring her right foot to stabilize. Oh, she jumps into it. Oh my goodness, so smooth. Oh my gosh, she's on fire, dude. She is incredible. Wow, what a performance from Brook Rebel 2. She was the most consistent in 2021. 2022, she had a pretty good year too. And now she is... Wow, she's championship material now. Hannah Mill now, stacking up. She looks like... Okay, yes, she goes a little bit slower, more deliberate this time. Has her feet well, she chalks up. Okay, is she able to figure it out? I think, you know, lots of climbers nowadays are chalking up and bringing their chalk bags along with them, just like lead climbers. So, wow, what kind of grip is this? This is so cool. This is like an okay sign grip against the crib. That's interesting. Okay, that's a new kind of grip style. I've never seen that before. That's, uh, that's pretty cool. Okay, but this crack came down, it's a little bit awkward for yeah, her. Oh, it looks like she's hanging quite, secu she's quite secure with that left hand under cling on this slopey uh, 360 black um, macro, but she needs to find opposition somehow. Oh, she slips though! So a lot's on the line here for the lead, for the hit, um, to be scoring a hit of Brute Rabbit 2. She needs to score this time. She needs to land this and stick this first try again. Oh no, will she be able to go again? She might just have enough time, but maybe not well, enough a lot for the top. She needs to kind of execute, execute, execute. Oh no, Hannah Mule, this is turning into a huge disaster for her. Will she be able to land the zone at least? Comes in here, she has 20 seconds left to go for the top. She is eyeing, she needs to go slow and controlled though. Her heart is beating and she knows she doesn't have much time left. She's going for, for this Gaston press actually enough to adjust her feet but no it's too little time she goes too quickly no no so for Gina this could be her style she looks very confident and deliberate with the slopers on the fingers oh she's actually kind of half crimping that Ugh, a little bit too aggressive to the jib maybe 
Didn't seem like she wanted to weight her right foot heel hook that much. Uh, she's currently in the bronze position. Uh, she to and yeah, it would be great to for her to top the boulder as well to really secure her bronze medal position. Um, yeah. Oh wait, no, she needs. She needs a top in one attempt. Okay, <laughs> so Anamo Sufuji needs um, the top uh, to at least maybe secure her bronze medal position. Now uh, Anamo Sufuji now going left hand. How she released this toe hook? I don't know. She doesn't seem to realize there's a heel possibility. She's trying to campus. Oh my god. Okay, now she's going for the heel. It's very very late. How does she release her toe hook to secure the right heel hook? Yeah. So there's no weight on her right heel. And that's why she's bundling off when she tries to release her left toe. She needs to try something different. It will be a bit too stretched out for most competitors. So she should know something just from the length of the moves. Yes, now! Now she sees the right heel hook. There we go. No, no, super well sit in though, but maybe good enough. Let oh. She's only the only Japanese in this final in Hachiyoshi. She needs to have. You know, she needs to be able to top for some kind of redemption for her country and she does not make even the zone wow. and the lady of the hour Brook Rabbit 2 is on the scene Brook Rabbit 2 is leading the way currently you can look at her scorecard she's always been lots of bronzes and silvers but never a gold medal in a boulder world cup this is her chance for a boulder World Cup gold medal. All, all her previous rivals like Yanya Gambrat and Natalia Grossman are not in this finals anymore. Brooke Rebel 2 is here shining. Only standing in her way is this boulder and the gold. And she needs to top in unlimited attempts to secure her position in the gold. And well, Hanamil is right behind her back. Hanamil is in second place. But Hanamil did not top the previous boulder. So if Brooke Rebel 2 tops this, she will secure the gold. But if Brooke Rebel 2 does not top this and Hanamil tops this, Hanamil might be able to take home the goal. It will be very, very close. It will depend on attempts. But Rook about to wrap it here. Coming in, she knows how to establish. She's going strong with her left hand. She's barely reaching it, just being the tips of her fingers on that slope. But she's trying to release her left toe, precisely releases it very nicely. Now she has her weight on her right heel. Right heel looks pretty okay, not the most secure. Oh, but she manages to. Oh, it's almost like a slight inside flag move there, just to get her left hand up. Oh my goodness, she's so strong, she's so good. Oh my gosh, she managed to reach the zone. The only athlete to reach the zone right now. She's here chalking out. She needs to take her time. She knows nobody has reached the zone yet. And now she's reaching across for the top. She's eyeing for the top. This is like almost like a down climb kind of thing. Oh my goodness, how she holds the tension. She's amazing. She's so strong. This is like the steepest part of the boulder. She's coming for this underclean, matching the underclean. She needs to find opposition with the right foot. Ops to go for the small screw on on the volume of the, the right hole. Oh my god, Brook Rabbit 2. She is going to match for the top. Oh, she wins the gold! She is the champion first bowler World Cup gold medal. She knows it. This means so much to her. Such a what a performance. Well done, Brook Rabbit 2. This is phenomenal. What a history making performance for Brook Rabbit 2.